From the students of Penn State Meteorology, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Subtle weather is in store for your day on Thursday. I'm student meteorologist David Wynn with a look at the rest of the week. We'll first take a look at the latest weather headlines, and currently we are expecting a warm-up as we head through the day today, but by tomorrow we are anticipating showers to move through our area, so it's certainly going to be an unsettled day. But note that as we approach the weekend, we are expecting a big drop in the temperatures. So once again, as we head into the day on Saturday, things are really going to be on the chilly side for this time of year. We'll now have a look at the latest current conditions over Happy Valley. And currently, we are experiencing overcast skies at this hour with a temperature coming in at 36 degrees. It feels like 26 degrees. The dew point's coming in at 12 degrees. And we have visibility at 10 miles in or 10 miles or so, with winds coming out of the south-southwest at 16 miles per hour. Taking a look at the temperatures across the rest of the Commonwealth, generally most of the region is in the upper 30s to lower 40s at this hour, with Pittsburgh coming in at 43 degrees, State College once again we're at 36 degrees, and also in w Williamsport. And back in eastern Pennsylvania, we can see that down in Philadelphia, that's our warm spot with a temperature coming in at 45 degrees. We'll now have a look at the latest current winds, and pretty much the entire Commonwealth is coming in around 10 to 15 miles per hour, but we'll now have a look at the future, and as we head through today, today, we are anticipating wind gusts to occur between 30 to 40 miles per hour, pretty much across the entire Commonwealth, and that theme will continue into the overnight hours tonight as the winds will be on the gusty side, but notice but by 10.30 Thursday morning, Winds will start to taper down from west to east as the, our first cold front will begin to move through our area as we head through Thursday morning. We'll now have a look at the latest radar image, and currently we do have some snow showers passing to our north at this hour, but if we take a look at a wider view, we can see here's that cold front out in the Chicago area currently marching to the east, and that will begin to approach our area as we head through the overnight hours of tonight. We'll now have a look at the future weather, and as we head into this evening, we are expecting an increase in showers as we head through the overnight hours, but once we make our way into Thursday morning, that is when we have the greatest potential for some really heavy showers, possibly even a rumble of thunder. As we can see, we do have a squall line over the central part of the state, and that will continue to progress to the east as we head into Thursday afternoon. But notice that we do have a lot of showers that are going to develop as our second cold front is going to move through Thursday night, which as a result will cause a northwest flow and for a few snow showers to develop across higher elevations as we head through Thursday night. But by Friday, those snow showers will begin to taper down, but we have yet another cold front that will move through Friday night, which will bring very chilly conditions on Saturday. We'll have a look at your forecast for the rest of the week, and today expect a high of 51 degrees with a mix of sun and clouds. As we head into this evening, we are expecting showers to arrive during the overnight hours with a low of 40. We'll now have a look at your seven-day forecast, and as we head into today on Thursday, that is when we are expecting those showers, with temperatures generally in the mid-50s, but we begin that drop as we head into the day on Friday for a few snow showers still possible in higher elevations, especially during the morning hours, with a high of 45 degrees. But notice once we make our way into the weekend, that is when we see that big drop in the temperatures once again, with a high of 39 degrees on Saturday, dropping all the way down to about 20 degrees, maybe 19. So it is certainly going to be very cold for this time of year. We could also see a few snow showers developing once again. But once we make our way into Sunday and Monday, that is when we do begin the warm trend as we start at 43 degrees on Sunday and we make our way up to around 60 degrees by Monday and Tuesday with the chance for some more unsettled weather. That is all that I have for today for the Campus Weather Service. I am David Wynn. Have a great day.